What I don't like about Snark, and I don't know why I own so many. What do you think is the best headstock tuner? I don't know what your preferences is. I know what mine is. Actually, my favorite tuner is not a headstock tuner. It's a pedal tuner. The Polytune Mini is a fantastic pedal tuner. Why do I prefer that? Because it turns off the sound of the guitar just by hitting the button, which is really handy when you're just putting your guitar down. You don't have to worry about it, just hit the button. Also, it tunes for you. However, that's not always practical. Sometimes I'm on my way to a jam and I don't want to take my whole pedal board. Maybe I'm going to an acoustic gig and I don't take my pedal board. So what I do is I grab my headstock tuners. Over the years, I've seemed to have picked up quite a few and actually one of my favorite has gone missing and I don't know where it is. It was a really tiny little guy that clipped on the back of my headstock. Don't know where it is, it's gone. Sad to say it happens. It's probably in a guitar bag somewhere. I have quite a few guitar bags and cases and anyways. Which one do I like the best? Well, let's go through a few of them just to talk about the different ones that I have. I know there's other ones out there, but I'm going to explain what I like and why I like it. And then you can make a decision from there. Three snarks, three different snarks. The square one, which was the cheapest one. The standard snark, I've seen millions on guitars. Then there's the, the Studio HZ. Not really that much different, but it's smaller. Look at that. And see, it's quite a bit smaller. But in practical terms, it doesn't make much difference. What I don't like about Snark, and I don't know why I own so many, other than this one, which folds flat, which means you can put it on your guitar at the back so it's not out in front of you, like that. Fold it out. That way the audience doesn't really see the tuner. And it folds flat when you want to put it in a guitar case, assuming you've got space on top. But these guys don't fold flat. They have this silly arm that holds them up and they're kind of goofy. I don't know why I have so many. This one is okay. It's Boss. It works reasonably well. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it does lay flat. But you can lay it, turn it that way and stick it on and it'll work okay. And it does swivel around. That's pretty decent. AT4, 440 Technologies. Again, swivels around, lays flat. What really drives me nuts about all of these is these stupid batteries they use. Button battery, thin like wafer. That drives me nuts. Because I keep having to replace them. They always run out of battery when I go to use it. Then, I discovered the on stage. This is the GTA 4500. This guy is awesome. There's a battery level. It shows you what note you're in and it shows you in cents. So percentage of how close you are to being in tune. That is awesome. It lays flat, it sticks way up, it swivels around. That's my new favorite. What's best about it? It's USB chargeable. Charge it up with any standard phone charger, off a computer, whatever you've got, and it recharges. You don't have to buy more batteries. I'm not talking about price on any of these because they're all between $18 and $30 Canadian. That's really not big enough difference. If you're looking for the cheapest one, then buy the cheapest one. It's not going to make much difference to you whether it's 18 bucks or 30 bucks, you know, that's the price of a good set of strings or two sets of super slinkies. You know, that's really not that big a difference. But I highly recommend the on-stage tuner. That is my favorite one that isn't a pedal. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you liked it. So please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Remember, you can lead a guitar to water, but you can't tune a fish. Mm -hmm.